Man who was bitten by a great white shark right off the coast of San Mateo County over the weekend is out of the hospital and actually walking. Yeah, k 2s Emma Goss spoke with him today about that close encounter, and she joins us now live with more from Pacifica. Emma. Mike and Heather, the man told me that he regularly swims at Gray Whale Cove, which is just about two miles south of where we are at Pacifica State Beach. He said he went there Saturday swimming, looking for crabs, but so did a great white shark. He shared a video he took minutes before the encounter. 38-year-old Nemanja Spasejevic went swimming alone Saturday morning at Pacifica's Gray Whale Cove, but about 200 meters from shore, he felt something touch his leg and realized he wasn't alone after all. Kind of like a mosquito bite with a little bit of a push, and then I kind of wrapped my legs around, and then I could see like kind of face to face like the shark, you know, like the nose and uh, two eyes. He dropped the two Dungeness crabs he was holding on to and frantically swam away as cold water rushed through his torn wetsuit. At that point, like, I could see like a lot of blood actually in the sleeve of the wetsuit. And I was like, okay, like, this is not good. Once on shore, he used his rubber diving belt as a makeshift tourniquet to reduce the bleeding from his upper thigh. A fisherman heard his calls for help and called 911. One of the veins were, was cut and it's maybe the size of like a pinky or half of the pinky. He was rushed into surgery at San Francisco General Hospital and left hours later grateful to be walking. I think I'm probably the luckiest guy in the world, you know, I like get hit by a great fight and walk out of the hospital same day. On Monday, when Pacifica beaches reopened after a 48-hour closure, news of the great white shark attracted some visitors. And I've seen pictures of this beach and I've never been to this beach before, so that's why we're here and worried others. Scary because, you know, I like go a little bit in inside, not too far, but scary. The founder of Shark Stewards, a local nonprofit, says it's likely that this was a baby great white shark based on its estimated size of six to eight feet. He says they prefer not to eat mammals. Instead, they like eat crabs. Heather? All right, Emma Goss, thank you so much. Baby or not, I don't want to have anything to do with a great white shark. Thank you, Emma.